Hello again, everyone. Edwin Learned back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about the Black Moon Lilith in the seventh house in a natal chart. Now, the first thing I want to get at is keep in mind that the Black Moon Lilith, uh, where it's posited, where in the house that is, it is in, in a natal chart. This could uh, reflect very strong negative manifestation of that house and the dark side of that house. So in this case, perhaps this person may uh, wind up uh, going to court over unfair litigation uh, based on things and, and maybe in some cases that were fabricated just to humiliate this person and just to bring him in to court unnecessarily. It can attract perhaps nefarious uh, partners, significant others. Maybe this person uh, in, in some isolated cases may wind up being raped by, by a significant other due to non-consensual uh, sex. They may attract people that are really, uh, they may be get involved in salacious, a number of salacious affairs, people that are uh, depraved, they may they may attract those kind of people. Uh, it could be people that, uh, given that this is the the seventh house, and the seventh house is also about partnerships, which could be business partnerships. It's not just about relationships. A business partnership, uh, perhaps they get involved in, in something where maybe something unethical is going on, or, or there's something nefarious connected with. The business arrangement and partnership and uh, also keep in mind that now as far as the black moon Lilith goes now this could be uh, the area in life that puts us in a strong state of fright and trepidation and given that we're talking about the seventh house of relationships this could be what could really put this person in a real strong state of fear could be perhaps not collaborating, having to collaborate on others with things, having to do things on their own in an independent type manner, perhaps even dealing with open adversaries and having having to confront people that are open enemies because this is the house of open enemies being in a state of desolation could put this person in a strong uh, state of fear as well having to deal with legalities and legal matters uh, perhaps now where the black moon Lilith is placed in one's chart, this could also be the area where one tries to extricate themselves from, but may have tremendous difficulty in doing so. Well, in this case, and in some cases, could be a, an abusive and contentious relationship. It could be a crooked partnership. Maybe there's something with a, a binding uh, contract that they're involved in. And it just really, it's taking a toll on them and it's something that they don't want to be involved in, but because of the contract and its nature, the fact that it's binding, for example, they, they may have difficulty getting out of it. So th those are some things to look at with this position. Now, also, where the Black Moon Lilith is placed in one's natal chart, uh, this could represent people that figure prominently in one's life scheme and could even be an adversary to that person. So they could play a dominant role one way or another. And given that this is in the seventh house, it could be people that are in the legal field. It could be judges, bailiffs, uh, attorneys, paralegals, could be people that play a dominant role or might even be open enemies or adversaries could be arbitrators, uh, mediators, people that deal with relationships uh, like marriage counselors, people that are arbitrators. And anyway, another thing to look at as far as the Black Moon Lilith goes in one's natal chart, this could reflect the area in life that the person doesn't want unveiled and they want to keep it concealed and don't want it coming out. So this could be perhaps some demoralizing, or demeaning uh, court uh, situations. This person maybe became embroiled in. It could be a criminal record that really, I mean, a lot of people don't want their criminal records disclosed regardless of the black and the placement, but it could be more intensified with this placement. Now, 
could also be a nefarious business partnership. Maybe this person was in, involved or is involved with some kind of uh, business that might be corrupt and is not doing things 100% uh, scrupulously and ethically. It could be some relationship that might, or relationships that might be unsavory. Uh, so, anyway, well, another thing about the Black Moon Lilith is in one's natal chart uh, to look at as far as the, the sexuality of the person. Keep in mind, the Black Moon Lilith is really. It really can show that strong, uninhibited, and erotic sexual side of the person. And given, okay, this is in, being in the seventh house, this person may, uh, may really uh, try to entice uh, potential or sexual lovers with a, perhaps an equal uh, give and take. And, but at the same time, they might wind up taking more than giving. They may attract partners that might have a very strong libido and really strong erotic uninhibited sexual side. But also, this could indicate a person that might get involved in a lot of salacious affairs. And it might attract people that are uh, rather actually uh, depraved. So, and it may, may also... Uh, it might attract the real unsavory types. Now, last but not least, this position is not all negative, of course, if you're able to embrace the higher level of it. And the higher level of this being in the seventh house, well, this could be somebody that learns from their legal experiences and tries to uh, become a could throw or perhaps flourish in being an attorney or paralegal, somebody in the legal profession, could even be a court reporter, a bailiff, a judge, somebody that may work uh, with some kind of, uh, in, in marriage somehow, such as a marriage counselor or a person that works as a, in relationships that acts as like a mediator or something similar uh, to that, somebody that works uh, perhaps with uh, with documents, or I should say not documents, but maybe uh, that do deals with contracts. It could be somebody that becomes, let's say, like an arbitrator, uh, mediator, and really and it could be a person embracing the higher level that could be about finding the people that are involved with prodigious healing as far as this per will heal the wounds of emotional wounds of this person very strongly instead of finding somebody that might very well uh, intensify them and, and actually make them worse and escalate upon that. So anyway people that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for the Black Moon Lilith in the seventh house in a natal chart and stay tuned next time where i'll be talking about the black moon lilith in the eighth house in a natal chart two things i want to get with you on before i head out firstly the stars may impel but do not compel and secondly never isolate any single astrological element aspect planetary placement position configuration influence or what have you and make an analysis of a person astrologically speaking based on this alone because astrologically speaking the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one until next time people stay well